Hey guys, Jeremy here, your peak performance relationship and mindset mastery guy. And we've talked about sexless marriage before. We've talked about how that affects men. So make sure you check the other videos on that topic. Oh, they'll be over there. So check these right over here. Um, but let's dig in today. We're going to talk about really some of the nuts and bolts. You're going to get divorced due to a sexless marriage. There's going to be some things you got to think about <laughs> judgment we're going to talk about that there's going to be you know why this happens sometimes and possible ways to resolve it and not actually have to finalize the divorce as well as you know deciding what you really want and owning it 100 percent. so we've got some really important things to talk about so let's i want to make sure you guys stick around to the end because maybe you don't have to get a divorce maybe there's a way to reignite the passion and i've got something special for you so let's get to it the first thing is You've got to decide 100% what do you want on all levels of your marriage, all levels of your relationship. What do you want? What do you need? What do you deserve? What are you willing to give? What do you want to receive? What lights you up? And own those answers 100% integrity because you're willing to come in at the nth degree. You want a partner that's going to match you at the same level. I don't think that's an unreasonable request. I think that is that's fair. Like, I'm going to do so far. I need you to come with me as well. And so when it comes to I'm going to get divorced because of a sexless marriage, there's going to be a lot of judgment. There's going to be a lot of recrimination. There's going to be a lot of finger pointing and a lot of gossip. And a lot of people are going to tell you, well, X and Y and Z. And why are you breaking up this happy home? And why are you making this? She's such a good woman. She's such a good mom. She's such a good blah, blah, blah. But if it's not lighting you up. If it's not meeting your needs, if it's not full and fair and even between the two of you, then it's not really somebody else's place to proffer an opinion or to judge you because they haven't lived your life. They haven't walked through your shoes. They don't know the, the pains and the struggles and the sacrifices you've made. So you have to be 100% clear. What do you want? What do you need? Own that. And no apologies because at the end of the day, good, bad, sideways, you got to live with you. And if you're not able to show up in your best and your marriage is a place of pain, that's not healthy. It's not healthy for you. It's not healthy for the kids. And ultimately, it's not healthy for her. So step one, first step, first thing, decide. What do you want? Now, the other thing to factor in, as you're getting clear on the things that you want and you need and desire and you crave, as you and your wife are talking and defining that, it may come out that there's actually some unresolved stuff from the past. Maybe for you, maybe for her. See, in a lot of relationships, you know, we get into the the intimate side of it, and it's fun, and it's sexy, and playful, and hot, and heavy, and there's passion, and juicy, and yeah. Sorry, I went to a happy place. I'll, I'll come back now. Uh, but what happens is over time, you start to get comfortable, and new sides of you show up, new rules, expectations, obligations, a real man should, a real wife should, a, a husband should, a mother should. All these shoulds begin to start impacting. And when we have trauma, when we have unresolved issues from our own childhood, that can show up in our current relationship too. And we begin to play those patterns, the unresolved needs. Like whose love did you have? Whose love did you crave? Who did you have to be to get the love you craved? Maybe you, maybe your wife, you're playing a role with each other. And as you get comfortable, you stop playing the roles. You stop acting and start getting real. And as you do... Maybe there's unresolved sexual trauma and now the sex life dies simply because it's too painful to go back into that because it reminds your partner or reminds you of this bad stuff that happened when you were younger. And so if that's the situation, maybe divorce isn't necessary. Maybe counseling, therapy, support, maybe professional interventions, maybe that's what's needed in that moment because then the two of you heal the past and you can rediscover each other and reactivate the intimate side of your life and, and have more sexy fun times again. So definitely keep your head, your heart open for that possibility. Don't be so quick to judge and just cut off what's not working because maybe there's something here you could salvage. So one of the clients I worked with, his wife had given him an ultimatum. She said, 13 years into their relationship, she said, look, this isn't working for me. I need you to show up because things would get stressful between them. Things would get static and he would just wall off and emotionally he would disappear. He's unavailable. He's unavailable for her mentally, emotionally, physically. He's there and yeah, he's going to work and yeah, he's doing the chores around the house, but he's otherwise a dead fish. And that wasn't going to work for her. It was okay and she could handle it before they had kids. But after kids, she needed him to show up in a different way. And for him, he had been abused by his dad 
And he had been trained not to show any emotion, not to show any vulnerability, not to need anyone or anything. And so for him, he got scared. Every time their relationship, there was any kind of emotional turmoil, he would shut off and no interest in his wife, didn't want to touch her, didn't want to talk to her. And so their marriage was sexless because he just was emotionally done. And so he and I worked through what had happened with his father. And as he resolved that, he showed up more playful, more powerful, and they recovered their marriage simply because he realized he didn't need to defend himself from his wife the way he had had to defend himself from his father. And so now their life is amazing. They are playful. They're dating each other on a regular basis. They've got the kids involved in being more playful in life and love. So what appears to be an unwinnable situation and a partner who is intractable and doesn't want to be involved and doesn't care, maybe it's coming from something way before they ever met you and it took time for it to fully reveal itself. Okay, guys, I have talked about sexless marriage before and we've got a playlist that we'll just link right up here. And I want to know, for those of you guys that have been through this and you've come out the other side, if you could give one piece of advice to another guy, the guys that are watching this clip right now, if you could tell them one thing, what is it? What would you tell them? Leave it in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your feedback. All right, so now the last thing you've got to decide when it comes to a divorce due to a sexless marriage, I'm going to tell you in just a second. Make sure you stick to the end because I do have a guide for you because maybe if you don't need a divorce and you could possibly reignite your passion, I got you covered. So hold on for that in just a moment. The last thing you have to decide. I already said you got to know what you want and I already said you got to deal with people's opinions and I already said maybe it's salvageable. So the last thing is you have to decide what it's worth to you to have an active, dynamic, healthy sex life in your marriage. What is that willing to what are you willing to do to be sexually fulfilled? And how does that work for your partner? Because maybe she's okay. I don't want to do the sex side of it, but you could go get that taken care of somewhere else. I don't want to know about it. Maybe that works for the two of you. I'm not here to judge that. Maybe, yeah, she's a good enough mom and a good enough homekeeper, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to get some strange on the side. Good to go. Or maybe you're just going to rub it out and take care of your own needs. I'm not here to judge again. But you have to decide. 100% integrity, 100% ownership, for you to feel fully alive, how much sex do you need? What sort of sexual life do you want? Un unapologetically, unabashedly, just go after it, dude. But do it with integrity. Do it with a sense of, I'm operating according to what's true to my principles and my values. Own that. Whatever shade anybody wants to throw at you, whatever judgment, they don't know. It's not their life, it's yours. So I want to encourage you, own your truth, live in your integrity. Now, if you want to do whatever you can to try not to get divorced, to save your marriage, then I would like to invite you to come check out my Reignite Your Passion guide. It's a little cheat sheet to help you hit some key important areas in your life and your love. Maybe this is a salvageable situation and you don't have to get divorced due to a sexless marriage. So check it out. It's in the comments down below. It's the first pin or it's in the description. And I'd love to get your feedback. And that's it, gentlemen. You keep fighting the good fight, living true to your principles, live and love more, play the game of life at the highest levels, and I will see you next time. You make it a fantastic day. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for making it all the way to the end. You freaking rock. So please make sure you hit the like and subscribe, turn on the bell for notifications. We're coming out with new videos three times a week, and I'd love to have you get all the good stuff. And I'll see you next time. Bye.